hello everyone so welcome you all uh, this is pavan so in this video i'm going to cover uh, two core topics stlc versus stlc and then we'll discuss about waterfall model versus v model so before uh, going to start uh, let us see what is sdlc software development life cycle what is sdlc talk about so if any company, not only IT company, if you go for any industry, if you want to produce something to the market, it should go through certain process, right? It should go through certain phases. And uh, when you come to the software or IT industry, so software is also will go through certain uh, phases, uh, certain process. So it will start from like a requirement analysis, means we need, we have a customer or client so we need to get their requirement we need to understand them clearly and then we need to design accordingly so according to this requirement we need to design the software okay and once our design is completed and then we need to again develop the software by using some programming skills and the uh, once a uh, development is done we need to again test the software before delivering to the customer and then once the testing is completed, we need to certify it and then we'll go to deployment or maintenance phase. So these are the sequence of uh, phases our software will go through. First, initially it will start from the requirements. Until unless we have requirements so that from the customer, we cannot even develop anything. So first we need to have a requirements, complete requirement and correct requirements. And we will design that by using uh, data flow diagrams and ERP diagrams and so on. So we use design certain design techniques so, And then we'll develop the software or coding and once the software is developed we test the software and maintenance So these are all comes under the SDLC software development life cycle from the beginning to Till we release the software to the customer What are all phases will go through? Every come every step or every phase comes under the SDLC software development life cycle. Okay. Now, what is STLC now? STLC is again one part of SDLC. So, for example, here requirement is different task, and designing is different task, development is a developer task, and testing is done by the testers, right? And then maintenance. So, here if you talk about this testing, this is a very important and crucial role. Before delivering the software to the customer, we need to test this thoroughly, right? So STLC is basically talk about this particular phase, that is testing phase. So SDLC is the overall process. It will describe the complete software development process. Complete software development in the sense it is not only development, it is also include all the phases. But software testing will mostly talk about the testing part, okay? Testing part, how we need to test, what are the testings we have to conduct, what is the process we need to follow, what are the documents we should have. So all these things will be part of SDLC. So SDLC is an overall complete software development process from the beginning to end. And SDLC, software testing life cycle is a part of SDLC. Okay, now let us discuss more on SDLC. So as just said, SDLC is a part of software testing, right? So again, within this STLC, we need to also follow, within this testing part, we need to also follow certain phases. So if you come to the STLC, software testing life cycle, again, we have different uh, phases here. So first we need to have requirements, need to understand very clearly, and then we need to prepare your test plan document, there's a test planning phase, and then test cases we have to write, that's again test case development part, and if you want to execute those test cases, we need to have set up environment and then we need to execute our test cases and then finally we need to close our test, right? So these are the different phases that comes under the STLC, software testing life cycle. And this is a part of overall SDLC. So SDLC is the complete stuff, complete development process. But inside this STL, in SDLC, we have STLC, software testing life cycle. It will talk about the testing process. How do we need to understand requirements? How do we need to do plan? How to uh, write our test cases? How to set up environment? How to execute our test cases? How to find the defects, right? All these things comes under the STLC, software testing life cycle. SDLC and STLC. 
Now we'll discuss about the two process models which I have defined for those processes. Like waterfall model is basically talk about the complete process. It is an example for SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. So waterfall model is an approach which will describe the SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. So in a waterfall model is very old and a very classic model is also called as a linear model. So how the software development will happen in this model is we should get the requirement from the customer first here. Customer, we need to get all the requirements at the first time, complete requirements. And then based on we design the software and then we implement it means we need to code it or develop it and then we test this software and then we'll deploy the software in customer environment and then maintain the software. So these are the different phases we have in the waterfall model. So this is very old and classical approach, but uh, there are so many uh, issues with this model. So one of those issues is here uh, each and every phase again depends on the previous phase document. Suppose if you want to design, we need to have a requirement document first. Or until unless the requirements are clear, complete and increased, then we cannot proceed for the next phase. And similarly, until unless design documents are ready, we cannot follow with the implementation part. We cannot write, start coding it. Until unless the coding is completed, then we cannot test it. So then once the testing is completed, then deployment will start. So if you observe here, this is a kind of waterfall. So every phase is depends on earlier phases. Okay, that's the one thing. So that's the approach actually. So what is an issue here exactly is, so other team, so whatever the people are belongs to testing should sit ideal until we'll get this all the phases, right? Suppose if any uh, issue we face during testing time or during maintenance time, again, we need to start uh, uh, entire thing from the beginning. There, there are issues. Uh, this is very uh, basically suitable for long term projects. But if the customer requirements are change, uh, requirements are continuously changing or dynamically changing, so this model cannot accommodate those changes because it will start with the complete requirements. Okay, complete and should be all are correct at the beginning itself. Once the process started, it is in the middle, we cannot accommodate the new requirements. Again, it will take a lot of time for this. So these are the problems with the uh, waterfall model. This is a very old and classic model. Now there is another model called as a V model. So you can call as a uh, v model this is also called as a VV model verification and validation model. There are so many names we have. So it seems like V shape, right? So it's called as a V model. So in this model, uh, we can just uh, overcome those challenges we have in classical SDLC models. So here there are two portions. One side is verification. The other side is validation. So in the verification, it talks about the development process and validation is talks about the testing process. So both will go parallel. So verification means uh, checking the software before implementation means like uh, testing our requirements, right? So testing the design documents, okay? Or testing your programs all comes under the verification part. So before developing the software or before the software is ready, we are doing some testing on that. So that's part of the verification. So we are going each and every step is correct or not. That's a basic thing is a verification. That's the main concept of verification. So verification checks whether we are following correct process or not. But once the software is ready in here, then testing will start. So here unit testing, integration testing, system testing, user accepted testing, all comes under the testing part. So here validation, we call as a validation. So verification means checking the documentation, design documents and everything before, before software is ready. But once the software is ready here, we can directly test the software. So that's all about the validation means whatever software is already developed, which is working according to customer requirement or not, that should be checked. That's called as a validation part. Okay, that's the basic difference between verification and the validation. So ver verification checks whether we call in process correctly or not. So validation basically focus on checking our software according to customer requirement, whether it is meets our requirement or not. That's the main focus on validation. Once the software is ready, we do validation. Before software is ready, 
we do the testing on the documentation part because until unless the documentation is correct our software will not be correct right so we need to also test the documentation in the form of verification part so this model will follow the both activities side by side verification part and validation part some some developer will do certain activities and uh, uh, tester will do certain another activity so developer will understand the requirements and you also need to understand the requirements because you also should write test cases test plans and everything so developer will do design and developer will write the code developer will fix those issues so these are all activities from the development side and he do some unit testing and everything and from the QA perspective, we need to also understand the requirements. We need to design our test. We need to write our test plan. We need to write our test cases or test scenarios. Then we need to execute those test cases. We need to find out the defects. Right? This is a parallel task. So this can be achieved by using B model, verification and validation model. Okay. And this is more we focus on STS, software testing license. This complete V model is mainly focusing on the software testing, STLC. Okay. So in the coming videos, uh, we are going to see in detail what is verification, validation, what are the different techniques, what is SRLs, HLDs, LLDs, and what are the different types of uh, testing here, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, user acceptance testing. So all these things we will discuss in the coming videos. So thanks for watching this video. So please subscribe it to get more updates on my videos. Thank you all.